This is the project for immunology, and I'm going to talk about cell markers. The cell marker is the structure found on the surface of the cell. It is not part of the cell membrane, so it cannot be drawn as part of the cell membrane. It is like an address for cells. The different cell markers are found on different cells. The cells talk to each other via cell markers. These cell markers do not actually connect with each other. They interact with each other, meaning there is a distinct clear space between each cell. Then the, the spherical shape represents the cells, and any shape represents the cell marker. Here the cells are illustrated. Then I'm going to uh, concentrate on the TH and TC, TC cell, but there are so many cells, but I'm going to concentrate on TH and TC. Then the TH cell expresses CD4, as illustrated here. Then the TC cell, it expresses CD8. If I can combine these, they, they should be the three cells and four cell markers. Then when there are three cells and four cell markers, TH expresses CD4 cell marker, which interacts with MSC class 2 restriction expressed by APC. They can be, there are many APCs. So there is a TH cell that expresses CDH cell marker which interacts with MSC class 2 which is expressed by all nucleated cells. It's a rod nucleophiles. It can, be, it can also be a microphage, a neutrophil, a B cell, a monocell. because these are different cells that behave as APC. That is why I put it nucleophiles here because there are so many cells that can behave as APC, like macrophages, pacophages, neutrophils, B cells, etc. Actually, the, the, the function of the, the APC cells it is to process the antigen that enters the body and present it to B cells. We need the APC for, immune, for the immune response. Then the MHC restriction, it can only interact with the antibody structure of IgG. It can only interact with the antibody structure of IgG. Here is the antibody structure of IgG, of IgG which interacts with this MSC restriction I was talking about before. Then, this is the MSC restriction which interacts with the antibody structure of IgG. This is the antibody structure of IgG and this is the end of my project. Thank you.